Hey, 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 here's Captain K. Ahoy and welcome to another Factorio video. I'm playing the latest 0.16.27 version in creative mode. The version where they made it so that the inserts finally can compress a belt. So no more need for side loader mechanics. The underground uh, cheat has been removed. Underground belt, well it wasn't a cheat, but it was never a proper mechanic to compress belt according to the devs. And uh, yay, look at how neatly they are stacked and how they move when there is no space. Beautiful. Also, one other thing that has changed is the splitter mechanic. Now we have the option of setting input and output priority. And you might have guessed it, setting the output priority, being able to set the output priority, now gives it a whole new set of uses for priority splitting. You may remember that I made a video about priority splitters, which is this setup up here, where I tried myself on building a version of my own compared it to versions other others built, and uh, then found I don't know the best working solution was something like this. I've replicated it down here, and that's basically the same as the new mechanic. Uh, using circuit logic so I think it's here we measure whether we have movement and um, if we do have movement or if we don't have movement I don't remember uh, we shut down this lane and then we shut down this lane and we shut down this lane so basically the same but a lot more complicated using the circuit logic and speaking about complicated um, I spent a few hours after after I made this video on this new setup where uh, first of all we're drawing off the main bus four times because this way I could test whether or not we end up with an empty main bus. Also as you can see here with uh, Zwan's design uh, after the fourth draw off it really shows um, throughput issues that are caused by the circuit logic not being precise enough and also I've improved the setup by setting up uh, throughput counters like this one here which is basically I don't know I think a, a counter with a, with a reset this is a clock uh, that's setting up a signal for this sort of basic memory that then stores the uh, the amount of plates in here and this one then is a divider that divides by the clock so that we end up with plates per second I think it is right so 33 plates per second and I've did the same thing here at the end to measure the, the overall throughput and I gave every lane a number so this one is one two three four five and it's sorting the numbers by the the throughput automatically so here we can see one three four and five have equal throughput while number two is flattening out due to the throughput issues so now with the new mechanic i was wondering how does it compare to the old ones and let's fire up this setup if i change this constant combinator to two i think it has has a five or, or six stages if i remember correctly this now is sending the signal to all of these inserters and now we have two fast inserters drawing off the output line equally from both sides and if we zoom out a bit what i really like about this setup it, it shows you the pattern of each uh, priority splitter and especially interesting how it ends up, how it looks at the end. So there is a few things that you want to consider if you want to use a priority splitter. The idea pattern is that the outermost lanes are always fully compressed, losing compression going to the, the inside. And as you can see here, with the new 
mechanic that, by the way, doesn't lane balance. Uh, we end up with gaps here, and then here the gaps accumulate, and then here we have like this, this little pyramid shapes. But the outermost belt always stays fully compressed. While here with the OK method, due to the circuit logic, uh, we seem to lose compression on the outermost belts, which is not an issue when we don't draw off a lot. But let's say you want to have a fully compressed belt here. This one doesn't fulfill. Now here my improved version after I drew all the conclusions from my last video. Um, this one still has a fully compressed belt. So does Swan's uh, method. And so does Canidae's method with the side loading. By the way, a big shout out to those two guys at uh, this point in the video. Because if it wasn't for them, I couldn't have built my version. Uh, they made tests and long blog posts and also helped with a lot of good inputs. So thanks guys, you really helped a lot. Now if we have a look at the numbers, let's have a look at the compression. The last belt, so here the number one, three are equal, then losing one plate per second uh, is number five, the, the official method, or now a built-in mechanic, followed by the number two, so they're closely together, and well, yeah, the OK method here loses out a bit, as stated. If we have a look at the overall number, number three apparently is the best in total throughput, closely followed by one, five, and four. And let's say the OK version doesn't lose a lot of compression overall, just loses compression on the on the Artemos belt. Let's crank it up a bit. So the next setting is drawing a bit off of one side of the belt. And you always got to give it some time, but let's see how the patterns change. So here you can see by only drawing off one side of the belt, the, the left lane here cannot compress down to this lane, leaving gaps. But still, let's let's see what kind of impact it has overall. Number three is still the best version, followed by four and five. So the AOK -okay version is is good with the overall throughput. And then uh, one and two at the end. However, if we have a look at the compression, they have better lane compression. Where is it? Here. So, 1, 3, 5, 2, 4. They're all pretty much equal. Mostly due to the fact that this one has side loading, I think, and this one because of the way the, the splitters are set up. Let's crank it up a bit. If we increase the draw on one side if we set it to four now we have a fast and the filter inserter drawing off of this line now things get a bit more interesting the thing is with the new priority splitting method the left lane always stays full which means that at some point down here, this lane can't be fully compressed anymore compared to uh, the splitter number three and one that use this um, balancing method, right? And let's have a look at the overall numbers. It's three with the most total throughput followed by the, the new mechanic followed by the others, and if we have a look at the throughput per lane, 1 and 3 are equally good, then the OK method, and as you can see, even the new um, splitter mechanic loses throughput on the most outer line. Let's crank it up. Let's crank it up one more notch. The setting number 5 is drawing more of one side and a bit of this line. 
And let's see how the pattern changes. You always got to give it some time until the first plate after the change reaches the end and also these mechanics need some time to to update but let's see you can always see how the pattern changes again here with the the built-in logic we are losing a bit of compression on the outermost lane here we have better results let's have a look number three is the best method followed by one and uh, two and five pretty much equally and total throughput of the main bus is number three with 56 plates followed by number five so it doesn't lose overall throughput as much as the other methods but if we have a close look at this one this has a lane balancer built inside and that's why this has the most throughput now for I think the final setting, if I set it to 6, yeah, they all fire in, basically emptying this blue belt. And now let's see how the patterns change. Yeah, so they are now emptying and as you can see this is the perfect pattern now for uh, the priority splitting. So. Whatever factory you got here has full throughput, whatever factory you here and here and here have full throughput and I don't know, at any of these points you could resupply your main bus. But this is empty, except for this one, that means we got some spillage here at number 3. While I don't think, like we don't really have holes here. A little little gaps here so maybe the last one doesn't get enough plates not sure though we'll have to look into this but overall all the methods work fine just splendidly now regarding the other criterias if we have a look at this design it has a rather large footprint um, this is the closest where you can put another one of those priority splitters this design is a lot more compact because like this one snuggles in nicely here. This one has a slightly bigger footprint, however still smaller than that design. And the OK version has one of the smallest, which is now beaten by the new mechanic, which has the, the closest footprint. Now if you have a look at the complexity, however, I'd say, yes, I put a lot of thought into this. It uses all of the mechanics that I know. It uses circuit logic, it uses side loading, it uses lane balancing, and then like the uh, combination that cuts off these lines. Let's, let's see. Um, it stops this belt, so everything goes down here, and then stops all of these belts, so they flow down again. Um, so, the uh, balancing to fully compress this belt and then uh, cutting off these belts to, to resupply the outermost belts. That's it, right? But it's rather complicated if, let's just face it, this accomplishes most tasks as well. Just plop down four splitters, set output priority to the right and you're done. So it's an awesome mechanic. Big shout out to the devs at this point. Thank you for continuously improving Factorio. It's a great game and I love it a lot. So if you really care about throughput, maybe you want to build this splitter. But if you just want to enjoy the game and have fun, plop down four splitters and you're done. Now, what do you say? What's your opinion on throughput? What's your opinion on output splitters? Let me know in the comments also if you have feedback or suggestions. Other than that, I wish you a fabulous day enjoying Factorio. This is Captain Concept and whatever you do, make sure that you've always got your lanes compressed. Arr.